From the lightweight we go to the Junior Manx Grand Prix, a full four laps, there will be fuel stops after lap two. Think about that for a moment, four laps of the mountain course and we are talking about 150 miles, double a Grand Prix distance. Number seven, Andy Jones was the fastest man in practice, leaving the start line there. Head down, away goes 11, Richard Smith on the Honda. And again, you can see, starting in pairs at 10 second intervals and out into the countryside with the weather on this day, somewhat better than it was for the previous races. And Mark Watts, number 12, already looking like the man to set the fast time on lap one. Nigel Davies and Pete Beale getting away. 16, heading out into the lanes, David O'Leary. And making a bit of ground already over Pete Beal. This is Mark Wagstaff climbing up Snay Fell in good company. And these joint starts always give us a little bit more action in the Manx Grand Prix. We always seem to find riders travelling together, dealing with the hazard there of the railway lines at the bungalow. Tricky one that you have to pick the bike upright before you put the power on, and you have to pick it up right earlier than you want to. 17, Mark Baldwin. Third place at the end of the first lap, but look at him now, beginning to make up a little ground, moving away from David O'Leary, or is he? 22 on the mountain, this is Mick Robinson on the Yamaha, across those railway lines, heading away up Halewood's Rise, all the way round through the loop to Governor's Bridge, down Bray Hill and heading out towards Quarter Bridge. 11 and 12. 11 is Richard Smith, Mark Watts is 12. You are looking at a battle for the lead between those two now. And 17 in third place, Mark Baldwin still making up time and Mark Baldwin may well be catching up with Mark Watts and Richard Smith halfway through this race now and there is a tremendous tussle going on at the front 16 david o'leary and there's a man on the move now o'leary climbing he was in eighth place at the end of lap one the fuel stops now and o'leary is up to sixth number one brian venables in the pits and so too number 11 richard smith gives you an idea of how much time he has made up he is in the pits alongside the man who started at number one Number eight, pulling out into the lanes now, Derek Kelly. He was in fifth place, then he climbed up to fourth, makes the right turn at Ballacrane, heading out towards the coast of the island at Peel before they gradually lean towards the right and start heading north into Ramsey. Here comes the battle behind on the road, but it's ahead on the timesheets. And 22, getting away, Mick Robinson leaves the grandstand, he was fourth after lap one, he's down to fifth now after two laps and has work to do as this tremendous battle goes across the mountain. O'Leary, Baldwin and Mark Watts, they're on their final lap and they are still riding together. Round quarter bridge, out past Kurt Braddon on the last of their 37 and three quarter mile laps round this fearsome island course. 16 out in front on the road is O'Leary and after three laps O'Leary has climbed from eighth to third and he is busy pulling away. O'Leary leads, Baldwin behind him is now in second place and behind that number 12 Mark Watts is actually fourth on the road because Mick Robinson number 22 in the distance has come up to third there's the checkered flag after four laps for number 16 David O'Leary and there's the finishing order confirmation of that result 